Hello everybody, welcome to a very exciting match. We've got the official cast of Spartacus versus Winteros, Group J, Round 1. Um, Spartacus is currently in the final of the Season 5 Chalice, and uh, up against Diamond, I believe. And Winteros qualified from Ruby BL, as you can see, Ruby BL champions. And uh, if you know anything about online Blood Bowl 3, uh, you know that the Russians are a really great blood bowling nation on Blood Bowl 3. So for him to have topped that, very impressive. So I'm very excited to see how Winteros plays. Um, he has taken a build very similar to mine for Dodge. For Dodge. Uh, Blitzers at two Wrestle Witch Elves. He doesn't have one Wrestle, one Block. He's got both with Wrestle. And he only has 11 players, but he has an Apothecary. And then he has three Assistant Coaches. Spartacus, however, has taken a very, 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 very strange team. He has only got three Bloxaurus. Now, normally, if you take three Bloxaurus, I feel like you'd go 11 players and uh, three rerolls because you've only got three block. But instead, he's only got he's gone for the two rerolls and the twelve players, and he's playing the chameleon sink on defense as well, and he's got a tackler and two guarders. And uh, we've just he exposed a skink on defense, who got promptly mighty blowed by the massively impactful Preston Nuffle Knuckle Dusters. That is an an insanely powerful Preston Nuffle. And he's given it to a blitzer with block, obviously. If he had a block witch elf, he could have given it to a block witch elf. But um, that's what I like, you know, frenzy more knockdowns. But that's really great, isn't it? The uh, the mighty blow. Yeah, it's really weird. This is so weird, the, the tackle and two guard. I hate it because you've got, now it means you've got un, like defenseless Saurus, right? So these, so you're getting Saurus or getting knocked down 75% of the time instead of 55%. And that means your opponents will just be relentlessly targeting the block of the Saurus. So I personally really, really hate anything except six block. Um, Spartacus is French, I never knew that. And uh, yep, qualified through the playoffs. Uh, Chalice playoffs. And uh, like I said, yeah, Winteros, Russian, and Ruby BL. So there you go, that's the background on the two coaches. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't rush. You can't rush Niagara. And. It's not, is it? Yeah, it's also it's also not. But you can't rush. You can't rush. You've got two rerolls. You can't rush to to attrition blitz, right? He can uh, he can tackle blitz the witch elf. That's okay. Or he could tackle blitz a dodge blitzer. I mean, he can't, you know, even if it was just one GFI rush to hit the mighty blow, you, you still, you can't ever try a rush with two rerolls. Uh, basically, <laughs> you can if it's to sack the ball, but not just to hit something. Yeah, very strange to be fielding the Chameleon Skink on defense. That's just weird, right? Because he's just worse than a... I guess he's got he's got um, on the ball that can be used defensively and he's got shadowing, but essentially he's just worse than a skink. So I really don't like fielding the Chameleon skink on defense. With that Saurus coming in, I wonder if the Croxagor is going to three dice blitz, where well, he gets instant value from the tackle there. It's not what I'd have done, though. I'd, I'd have... I had a very interesting blitz that I would have gone for, but well, I can say he's done it now, hasn't he? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Hello, Dimmy. You missed the wonderful excitement introduction. I was very excited. Yeah, he got he got uh, the Pret and Nuffle. Knuckle dusters. So that is a huge swing, isn't it? Like a 40 TV skill stacked onto a dodge blitzer for a whole half, probably. I mean, it is just the drive, but it's probably going to be the whole half. So absolutely massive, massive impact from the uh, press nuffle. Tried the three dice crocs block. I like trying it. 
Yeah, it's so good. You might have mentioned it once or a hundred times to me. <laughs> it's the only way you could beat someone like you, isn't it? Big Kev. Only chance he had. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's, oh, I don't want to call things out. I mean, they're, they're, he's got options he has, and he's got a bunch of options. I mean, he can actually hit the Saurus, which is nice. Sometimes you can't even hit them, but the fact that they're spread out like this means they are hittable. So, how he hits it remains to be seen. I mean that's the usual thing, isn't it, Alme? It's usually the usually the most fun way of doing things, but let's you know, maybe not. Let's see what he does. He does go from behind. Lovely power. This was getting the follow up hit from the lineman, right? If he didn't knock him over. But now that he's powered him, he can just put him out. I also wouldn't have, I wouldn't have hated um, going around the back and then blitzing with a witch elf, right, to pin him against the sideline. Really nice that if you can take out a Saurus by pinning him the sideline. So I think that's what I would have wanted to do. But you know, obviously, blitzing with the uh, mighty blow is very desirable too. Yes, but yeah, that's very rough, isn't it? It's a, it's a bit of a it's not really a bad matchup per se I really don't think it is um, the NAF stats will tell you that the Dark Elves are favoured I think it's pretty 50-50 if the Lizardman culture is good oh wow okay that's that's interesting that's super interesting that's a very very aggressive move down the flank here from Winteros. Yes, the woodies. The, the woodies are just like, like dark elves can still run around and hit your skinks, but it's just you know they they can't leap in and, and hit them with strip right. Like the war dancers completely dominate skinks. Um, but but even Dark Elves, you know, they've got loads of dodge and they can still do things. They they can do a lot of things well, Dark Elves. But it's it's a, it is closer than the Wood Elf matchup. Yeah. Interesting, this though, isn't it? Quite far forward and quite far back. Surely we're going to see the lizards crashing in here, trying to make something happen. I mean, we've already got the guard in, so you know he's getting use out of this guard here to three dice with the crocs. Wait, no, he's not. <laughs> Thought he was going to hit his own skink there for a second. <laughs> so he's just he's just putting in the guard to protect the skink. But he is he is mashing in anyway. He is mashing in as much as he can. Which elf is too far away to threaten the surf on that skink? Oh, he's put the square there so he can chain the guy back to hit him with the crocs. Very nice. Very nice from Spartacus. I believe Spartacus had like Underworld and Rebel. I I seem to remember playing him in Rebel with uh, an Underworld team. He seems to be uh, seems to be better nowadays than he was then. Um, he is in the final, as I said, of the Champs Ladder, Champs, Champs Ladder Chalice official ladder. Playing quite well here, though I do not like. I do not like his build, honestly. I do not like his build. And now I'm getting the problem here that Wenteros had of going so deep here. Like, the problem is you're not really... Like, normally, you know, if you go left and right, you'll you'll pull the opposition out of 
out of uh, out of position, but you can't pull Saurus and Skinks out of position. And your guys are moving six, and you know Spartacus has basically mirrored Wenteros's field position, right? Pretty much exactly mirrored it. So he didn't really have anywhere to go. Yes, apparently it is, Dimmy. I mean, you know, look, he is playing it well at the moment. He's protecting the guarders from being targeted. Of course, he, you know, there is a chance to hit skinks, but... He's not letting the guarders get punched. And that guarder is stopping this Saurus getting punched right now. Otherwise you could put in a play here and smash this guy, right? And then he could move this one forward and then blitz this with Mighty Blow. So that's all getting shut down by this guard being there, so... Like, guard's a great skill. Guard's a great skill. I think the tackle is too narrow and too unimpactful. I do not like the tackle at all. Um, I think the tackle is wrong. 100% wrong. My opinion in tackle on Lizardman team. I would not have the tackle there. But the two guards, I can see, you know, they've got value. Um, I mean, the tackle has value. But less. <laughs> Ooh, the follow is a bit dangerous. That's spicy. <laughs> Thanks, Al. <laughs> really appreciate it, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Tackle has an effect though, so there you go. Well, the problem, this is the problem with the tackle, right? The tackle's just so narrow. Uh, I... I just... Like, it had a one in six chance to have an effect there, and then did. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, how crazy is that? So I do not like, I do not like the tackle, even though it's just worked. Even though it's just worked. Um, I do not like the tackle. Ooh, no, no. Disregard. I was thinking we could have seen the surf, but it's too much effort. Really is kind of ridiculous to attempt to surf here. It's giving up the drive. Um, so he'll have written that off if he ever considered it, I'm sure. He could surf the bodger, but I, just, I think it's too big a commitment to consider doing it. I think what you want to do is get everything, you know, just smash, 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 everything based. Punch, punch, base, base. Basey, basey, punchy, punchy. Hope for the best. <laughs> Thanks, Odon. The surf takes, like, what? One, two, um, three, four, four, five, six players activations. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, it does it does surf a bludger if if you get all of the pushes. And I guess you're on three dice and then three dice, so you probably will get the push the push into the pile. Wouldn't have, by the way, on the two dice. Yes, I thought yeah, I thought you meant lizards with the uh but like the the Dark Elves build is I don't want to say boring <laughs> but it's a lot more standard, isn't it? Um, where this is an unusual lizard man build. A couple of guards, great. Oh my god. He's just got a cars. Did did he get it because of tackle as well? <laughs> he did. <laughs> Tackle has got him a, it's got him a, it's got him a stun and a Kaz in three turns. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could 
set it up with a new user, couldn't I? Maybe no, no, I couldn't. I couldn't set it up because it's my account, right? So I just couldn't set it up on this account without my account. It is Pablo's. It is. I mean, this is very, very low chances that it's had an effect, right? Yes, help. The fact that it has had an effect is kind of crazy. No, because you've got to you've got to sign in with a streamer account. Oh, that's so the streamer account is probably just to use for me to to use the things. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Oh, maybe I can get all that bad stuff back. In fact, I'm going to try and get the account back soon anyway. Yeah. So the fact that the, the tackle has worked has had two really impactful interactions in three turns does not mean that it's a good pick. <laughs> but it has paid off, yeah. So far. <laughs> I'm not liking this turn from Wenteros. I know exactly what I would have done here. He has not done it. Um, oh, but he does get a splatter skink. Right, it's a removal. Is it thanks to the, uh, yes, thanks to the mighty blow that he got that he shouldn't have had <laughs> from the uh, kickoff event? Disgusterous. <laughs> you know nothing during that, does it? Yep, yep, yep. I mean, it's a dice game, isn't it? It's a dice game. And the things that matter are the percentages and stuff. And Oh, wow, okay, I guess you take both down here. I mean, what was the what was the chance? I'll work out the chance. I say work out. I'll samba this. That Kaz that he made, it was forty two percent to get the knockdown without tackle, and tackle made it seventy percent. So, the three dice actually makes a big difference having the tackle, doesn't it? But still, it's still only three times, it's only like one in three times that it has an effect, right? That's the craziest thing. So you've got to make, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know, it just seems crazy to me that it's like, I just don't think it's good. I do not think it's good. And I never will. I never will. I am completely on board with Dionysian. Put your players in the right square, squares, and hey Maya, um, tackle lol. I'm fully in, in in those two camps, and it's I do not like tackle. Keep your tackle out of my face is what I say. <laughs> Again, it's only my opinion, right? It's only my opinion, but uh, he's playing very well, Spartacus, I must say. Just far, just far enough away that he can't hit the tackle with a mighty blow. Really wants to because he's defenseless. Really wants to hit the guard but can't because he's defenseless. He could bring in two players here and blitz him. That looks pretty good because he already oh, still got the two plus away anyway. But, you know, um, if you bring in two players and then blitz him, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Mighty blown him defenseless, bosh. But because he's guard, he can't blitz through the skink in a way. Turn five. Kind of wants to get back to the middle, right? He doesn't want to be jammed up on the sideline. So putting two assists into hit here kind of keeps him jammed. He can't hit from here because of the guard. So that was the other option, would be hitting down here, so... This is very, very strong play from Spartacus. Maybe he is the uh, 
three block master that people talked about. <laughs> yes, yes. So that's the thing. If Amazons were in and uh, mistiered as they often are in tabletop events, then all of a sudden tackle very much rises in value. But again, the thing with tackle is, it's it's putting the onus on you to get everything right all of the time, right? And your tackle is in the right place at the right time every time, and it's just not realistic for that to happen, you know. No matter how good anybody is or thinks they are. It's just too easy for, for things to break down in Blood Bowl, is my opinion. Is he going to uphill the crocs? No, he's not. I quite liked uphilling the crocs there. Because even if it fails, I, I mean, I would have dodged out the, uh, the this guy first. But, like, this being a 3 plus dodge isn't great, right? And neither is this one. So, if, But if you uphill him and you get a push or whatever, then this guy gets the 2 plus dodge out. So, I mean, I would have dodged this guy and this guy first, but I wouldn't have hated the uphill there. It's just not easy to always have. Like, it's the problem with, like, a thrower, right? You know, like, a thrower. Okay, you know, if you sack the ball and stuff, you might have a thrower there in the right place, like Niaga did earlier. But it's, it's very unlikely that you do have that player in the right square at the right time. It's much more likely that you don't. So this like one tackle I, I, I do not like. But again, that's just my opinion and uh, it is what it is, isn't it? There's plenty of people who like it, who do very well on tabletop tournaments and stuff. So. You know. Yep. Very different if, you know, Underworld were the best team and Amazons existed. Yeah, Frenzy Saurus. Yeah, I think Frenzy Saurus is actively bad. <laughs> the thing is, especially with this build of only two rerolls, right? Like, it seems crazy to me. I mean, he's getting three dice blocks. To be fair, he's getting three dice blocks. But, um... It just seems like it's going to be worse, doesn't it, against Orcs and stuff. But then I guess Orcs you should beat anyway. Maybe, maybe this is a good build, right? plays into their weakness versus elves like you know they're already so strong against everything else that it it makes them less strong versus everything else but it covers their weakness versus elves a bit yes the offense might be worse for them with this build yeah yeah that's true but this game is going great for him, isn't it? This game is going great for him. He's getting three dice with players. He's making blockless three dice blocks. And his tackle's doing some things. Didn't that turn? And because he's not getting a lot of blocks anyway, then he can make those blocks with the block players. You know, and then use guard to make things trickier and tackle to make things trickier. So, you know, maybe it's not as cut and dried as I thought it was. I have no qualms about admitting that I'm wrong or reconsidering my opinions about things. Seems like he could have uh, gone a bit overcommitted over here, right? And then that combined with the uh, crocs going stupid might mean 
we see a huge gaping hole here and uh, yeah this could be a massive a mega turn for Dark Elves here I mean it was a three dice block but it's really disastrous the, the, this this bonehead could be actively disastrous we'll see he's doing exact no he's not doing exactly what i was going to do so what i would have done is <laughs> I would have dodged here and hit this skink, right? And then you can chain this guy out to there, and then you've just got a wide open way for everyone to come through. I really like that. I really liked having a completely open route through. But he didn't go for it. But you can still budge to this side, like it's still fine. But I feel like it could have been incredible to have got everyone through. He's only got two turns left after this, so he's really got to get moving upfield. Because my instinct was I, I wanted to move this skink so that he'd get a two plus, right? Like that was the, that was just the, the first thing. And then if you power him to here, then this guy gets a two plus, this guy gets free. All these go through for free. You get to make a big, a big old cage up here. Like right. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven players. Like around here, which is pretty, pretty flipping good. <laughs> well, you know, Dimmy, sometimes you have to do one in 36s, don't you? Because the, the payoff was massive, right? The payoff to making that one in 36 was massive. Whereas this, is this going to be good enough to score? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, this does look an overcommit, doesn't it? This does look an overcommit, all of this stuff. Four Saurus on this half of the pitch, one Saurus on this half, <laughs> and then two centre. So that definitely looks like an overcommitment. Yep. He's got to a 3 2 this guy. Yeah, he rolled a 1 anyway. He might re roll this. Didn't re roll it. Actually, quite like the 3 2. I mean, the thing is, like, you know, lizards are so fast and dark elves aren't, so he, he, can, he can swing back over here. It's not a disaster for Spartacus, but yeah, as kind of said, you know, a bit of an overcommit. It's really nice this guy actually being here, isn't it? Also, oh, he gets the two D there. Then see croc splits and base the ball. Well, if he blitz, can he blitz him with anyone else? No. Oh, you can just knock him. Okay, I think we're we're going to see a croc splits, aren't we? Oh, he doesn't power him. If he'd powered him, surely it would have been a croc splits through the middle, right? Three, four. Five, six, and tag the ball. Because now he's just got to stand out there, yeah. Standing out there is pretty good.
but it seems very obvious the way to get through here. Yes, Dimmy. Yep. Thirty percent fail with a reroll. Yep, block looking a lot better than guard on this guy. Yep, defenseless. So you're seventy percent. You've got a reroll. You're on ninety percent to get through here. Sure. Plus it's with Mighty Blow as well, right? Then you get everything through. I guess you could do a safe move to like cover against absolute failure, right? You could do some safe moves first. That's an idea. But that seems like the obvious move, yeah. <laughs> now block look at good great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello PC. Thorn and Tomb Mish have changed the schedule time. Oh, 14. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. That means I can do the other one live after it. Does the uphill, gets the block. <laughs> Both down, knock down. KOs him, wouldn't have been KO'd if he had block, just quietly. Jim confirmed, genius, thank you. What, what I thought um, could have happened here, right, is could have stood up this lineman, blocked with a witch elf, and then this lineman could have come up here so that if this was a fail you wouldn't just lose <laughs> that might have been worth doing but like now this witch will get to go somewhere um relevant right because you'll be able to block you'll be able to stand up block him there in fact maybe he's not even is she oh yeah then she can jump and then run up so that might have been worth it doing that, like, you know, a little bit of ordering there. So now, now she can jump over. And like GFI once or twice. So th this leads to a better success state. Right? So it's one of those where, oh wow. He, re he, he, snaked, he snaked the rush and got his AV broken. Oh my goodness. Can't hit him though. Wonder if the second rush was necessary. Honestly, probably not right because the, the f one rush stops the skink double assisting. In fact, one r no rushes means a skink can one dice you. One rush means that you can only get uphilled by a skink. This guy still can't hit you unless he dodges on a six plus. Um, so yeah, there was a lot to be said for this safe move 
to cover for the one in nine fail. Um, which otherwise the ball was completely exposed. But then this could have given him a better end state. So they're the things you've got to weigh up, right? And it's like not necessarily, it wasn't necessarily correct to do the safe ish, you know, to cover the failed state. Maybe you just, you know, sometimes you just got to think, look, one, about one in 10 times, one in 11 times, I'm screwed here. Let's just go for it. No roaring though. The only, uh, the only option is skills on the crocs or the uh, saurus and maybe a sneaky git skink. <laughs> maybe a sneaky git skink. I guess you could argue for a sidestep or a sprint skink for a one turn, but sneaky git just seems better. No, I've just my thumb is killing me. I don't know why. It's been it's been hurting for the whole match, just this much. You know? Rather worried that I've like broken it or something, but never mind. <laughs> I'll soldier on. What a legend! So you get the crocs in. Getting the crocs in is good. And tackle. But having the crocs and tackle. Hmm. Well. Wow. Didn't know the crocs could he could it the crocs you'd rather had up here? Exactly Invictus, thanks. If you have the crocs up there, then maybe you're thinking of like a chain away and stuff, right? Feels much easier to chain the crocs away if it's up here. These guys are just so far away now, aren't they, in this one? Oh, I guess he's actually got the chain here, hasn't he? That's uh. Then he's still not in like a great spot, even if he chains him to there. Chaining him doesn't look great either, does it? This isn't this isn't too easy. This is almost looking like um, four three two to score. Don't know if you'll think of anything better than that. Exactly even this. What a legend. What an absolute legend. He's got a reroll, hasn't he? Four three two looks like he might not be able to do better than that, honestly. He's got plenty of time to think about it, hasn't he? He's used four minutes of time bank. Four, four minutes twenty of time bank here. Which is quite significant. But I guess it's easier to play defence against Lizards than it is offence. Is the dodge an uphill way? I don't think it's worth it. I think you just do the... Uh, just try to click... Click... Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 you can't do that, you can't do that. Flips the chameleon, block the skink. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this guy, he's got this guy. So this guy would blitz him down. He started with a 1D. This guy could have blitzed him down, and then he could have 2 deed him out, and then he would have had... Oh, because now he's going to blitz him up. Yeah, okay. And then that gives him a 3 plus to score. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? That's pretty nice. 
Oh, Andy gets to punch this as well. So I mean that that takes away the tackle. And now you have three with it. So that was a great solve. Great solve by Wenteros. I totally tunnel visioned on jumping. So, uh, <laughs> I was so dumb. I was thinking he can't move any of these. And for some reason, I didn't think of the, the chameleon. And yeah, Raw Rimbo was, was, got it. Went and Ross got it. I instead, my brain froze and I couldn't think. So, there you go. Congratulations, Raw Rimbo and Went to Ross on getting the touch down there. <laughs> I, however, could not. And uh, I, I did, I go, I went full Keith, yeah, I was like, well, i just got to jump, I've just got to jump, you know, he's got a tackle, he's got a tail, I'm, I'm just better off jumping here, you know, and uh, that was not the case at all, <laughs> that was not the case at all, it was definitely better to do what he did, the 1D into the 2D for a push, it was a 1D for anything but a skull, then a 2D for a push, and then... Two Ds for pushes on the other one. It was great, great, great soul and uh, embarrassed that I did not spot it. There you go. <laughs> Ab abject embarrassment. Now there's Spark because has the chance of the one turn. He could go for a skink, because he's got the guards. The skink dodge in here looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't seem to be what he's doing, though. Looks like he's just doing a whole method. Exactly, thank you, Invictus, yeah. Yeah. I have already forgiven myself, yeah. Yeah, I do not like the whole method. I do not like the whole method. Um, no. We wait for him to do it anyway. We wait for him to set up before talking about it too much. But yeah, I don't like the whole method. I think this is not good enough. <laughs> like, it means he needs four pushes, right? Which is pretty hard to get. He's only got one reel to do it. Into his time bank. Yeah, so I think definitely the best play was to have both his guards here. The other guard there, and then a skink dodges here to push him, which then chains him all the way up to there. Oh my god, he gets a timeout. Well, there you go then. All of a sudden, <laughs> this looks totally fine. Also, I didn't like this guy here. I much prefer him like out there, right? in terms of if the ball goes here, he's just there and can do something. Having him in the same, I know the idea would be this guy passes to him and he does it, but I don't know, I, don't know, I preferred him out there. Yes, Jürgen, yes. Getting the, getting the, uh, getting the time out is a way, way, way better plan than the time out for sure, yep. Yep. Oof. So he can, uh, this guy can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get into range. Oof. It's still loads of dice here. Honestly, he might have been better off going for the one turn. <laughs> 
This is so many dice to make this like a strong chance. I guess it would have been a lot better if he'd got this knocked down. Oh, dice dimmy. Lots of people like Ben and Jerry's, don't they? Yes, Invictor. So, 1 in 9 skink dodge works 89% of the time. Uh, your chance of getting a push on two dice is 55%. So, the skink dodge is quite a lot better. Significantly better. Oh. Um, did he stack that? Did he, did he stack that move? Yeah, he did. So that was also incorrect, right? Because after he used the reroll, he was better off cutting the corner here than doing a rush. So that was a slight, a slight, maybe his panic, you know, with the turn and stuff, the turn time and how long it taken. But um, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI. Whereas if he'd just gone the first move to pick it up. Once the reroll's gone, then this dodge is a one in nine, and the rush is a one in six. Yes, exactly, Invictus. Right, because in a block you're looking for a power, a push power, and if you're if you're just looking for a push, you're looking for a push or a push. So it's exactly the same as the five plus to knock over a block player. You're looking for a three or a four instead of a five or a six. So, uh, this skink is in scoring range, um, but obviously you just have to blitz him, and uh, and then he's not. <laughs> and he's powered. He calls for the ball as well. Why not, eh? Now he hasn't got a reroll for dodging away from players, but never mind. And I guess actually the combination of tackle and the crocs together, right, is pretty good. Like, I think he's used the team very well um, here, Spartacus, you know, like putting the tackle and the tail together and stuff. Been pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty impressively played, and maybe that's it. Maybe that's the idea that you know you're losing some of your win rate versus the bash teams and the bad teams, but you're improving your matchup versus the woodies and the dark elves. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. Who knows? Uh, yes, surfing the skink definitely too greedy. You've just, you've just got to knock him out of scoring range, right? That's the only thing that matters. No extra dice rolls. Just make sure you push the skink away. And that's it. The thing is, if, you, if you're going to make lizards and, like, it's still doable... Or oh, what, fill in here? <laughs> and then shit, blitz the... Blitzer, and then chain your Saurus into range. <laughs> that would be incredible. That would be incredible. It's probably not correct in terms of the percentage chance. Like, it'd be so low, wouldn't it? But I guess, yeah, it was doable. Is he going to foul here? Oh, no, he's, he might not have a reserve. Is 
so he doesn't get the KO back. So we'll consider him self-correct to have not fouled. The KO doesn't come back for the Lino, so only 10 players for the Dark Owls. So it's still very drawable for the Lizards. They won't try to win though, I don't think. Unless they make three Kaz instantly. I don't think they'll be trying to win this. No, like 1 0 down, it's just too dangerous, right? It's just too dangerous to, to go for the win if, if you, you know, if, if you're scoring like four turns or five turns and give them four turns to score, the chances are they'll score and you'll lose 2 1, right? It's the sad, the sad reality of the situation is as the lizards here, you're just looking for the draw now. You know, which is okay, right? Like, it's okay, you tried. You, you, I think he did play really well, uh, Spartacus, first half. Really well. I, you know, as much as I did not like his build. At all. Oh, he hasn't got the skink back for the free catch attempt. I'd have definitely started that. Oh, he got the high kick. So now he can put a different skink. Like, a, one of these two skinks can go under it. Um, I'd have definitely started with his skink back for the free catch attempt and then if it doesn't work then I'll like you know if you don't get the catch or the scatter bounce catch then fair enough but I would have I would have had him there and then you know just simply run back a skink if he didn't get it yeah I think he's made really good use of the the two guards and the tackle um though ultimately the guard maybe cost him <laughs> cost him the score right because the uphill would not have worked versus block But still, I thought he played around the weaknesses in his build very well. And made me, uh, made me not such a hasty judge of the uh, three block being terrible. It's the big power with mighty blow. Stone. Yeah, the offense might be a bit trickier with the tackle and the guards. No, he hasn't converted me from six block at all either. No, I mean, absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not, but, um, you know, I can say that I think it's not as bad as I thought it was, if you play it very well, but also, I still would never play it. <laughs> it hasn't convinced me to play it. I'll put it that way. I'm never going to give it the chance myself. But I can see why it appeals to people. If they're supremely confident in their bash matchups and their uh, hybrid matchups, then this is they're losing some percentage off that to, to have a better percentage against Wood Elves and Dark Elves. Well, in theory. Now, whether they get a higher win rate versus Wood Elves and Dark Elves, I'm not sure. I do think they'll get a lower win rate versus normal teams. Like, certainly a team that doesn't have any dodge at all, now you've only got five skills. 
Yes, Aurelian says, yep, this could just lose him the turn next turn. Lose him the game next turn. Yep. It is in the end zone. Excitement for this little skink. No, I think the Brighton Nuffle just gives you a general skill, right? And uh, no, no, maybe there is. It gives you. If somebody got break tackled, so maybe maybe you can get dodge from a Brighton Nuffle. I don't know that it, it's it's an option in Resurrection because Resurrection has a different table, right? So you might not be able to get it. And oh, one dice, pal. Amazing. I guess he's going to dodge everybody through. No rush because he uh, hasn't got the free rolls. Maybe you should have just remove this guy around the side first, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Or he shouldn't have put any corners there and just gone there, I think. But instead, he's a bit greedier, stacked them, and gets him there. Can it rush or not? No. This one can base another skin, can't it? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Nightmare for the lizards. Flip me. Yeah, it gives a primary, but can you get the pri that primary skill in a resurrection game? Because there's only eight results, isn't there? I mean, it's scary. It's not a nightmare. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can get the ball there and then get in a cage, but... It is a one in nine to lose the game, yes. Yes, he is. He can try some safe moves before he goes for this one in nine. And it might, you know, mitigate it somewhat. But essentially, we are looking at a one in nine to lose the game, yes. It's not a mild inconvenience to me. This is this is pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a three-two. Has to make them both. Only has two rerolls. Ah, tanks keyed. Into the time bank. Mild inconvenience. Oh, he's, he's into his time bank. He's terrified. He's terrified, Dimmy. Terrified. I don't know why he's taking so long. I mean, the answer is, oh, okay, it's not obvious. This skink, I would have blitzed him 100%. 100% blitz him. You push him onto the uh, crocs. He's one in nine because he's got tackle. So he's down a reroll because of tackle. Oof. But he's got tackle and tail on these two. He blocked his path. Okay, he's going here instead. Okay, so that saves him the rush. He's got dodge. 
makes the dodge. But I mean, it is a four plus. Oh, it's not four plus in. Okay, so he's doing that to make multiple dodges. Okay, so that was pretty good, wasn't it? I mean, I'm impressed by Spartacus. Honestly, I'm impressed by Spartacus. I am impressed by Spartacus. <laughs> Shut up, Dimmy. <laughs> he was a one in nine away from losing the game, to be fair. To be fair. Nah, he's played this well. He's definitely played this well. I'd say Spartacus is the best player I've seen so far this uh World Championship. There you go. No, yeah, that Jim Geese, that Jim Geezer played pretty well. Made the mistake of rolling snake eyes though, didn't he? That wasn't very smart of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played blind. Played blind. It works for PC, so I thought I'd try it myself. See, I didn't like giving up this block with this. So, like, like once he didn't blitz with his skink, he had to cage up here, didn't he? But um, I like just blitzing him. Then you push him onto the crocs. And then you could have caged around this Saurus. And a Saurus cage is stronger than a skin cage, isn't it? And it's further up the pitch as well. It was, it was nice what he did. Stand up, your lineman. <laughs> One in nine. Do I mean, he must be dodging him, right? It's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. I'd have just stood him up, honestly, because then this sort of like you've given this source a two D block. Because you stand him up, it's a 1D, you know, I just, like, is standing here that much better than standing here? I don't think so. And now, this 2D, he automatically takes. Whereas if it's a 1D, maybe, maybe he doesn't make it. And then next turn, you know, you can bring an assist, knock him down, and then he's in a much worse position and stuff. It is Demi, yeah, yeah, it is looking worse on offense, isn't it, than it was on defense, certainly. I mean, he could have gone with three rerolls and 11 players, couldn't he? I, I definitely would have gone three rerolls if I was only going three block. I think that's a strange decision. Well, spoilers out yet, but, you know, it's been on Twitch and it's it's on YouTube. Um, I unfortunately drew my game. I, well, I think it was unfortunate. I, I started off with incredible luck with the kickoff, um, but then I failed crucial um, dodges. Yeah, watch the YouTube is the obvious answer, isn't it? But uh, <laughs> it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Like and subscribe. There you go. All the games will be on YouTube. All every single game. Do you know what? I worked out today how many matches there'll be in this World Cup. Because somebody asked on, on YouTube. See look, that guy got stunned there. And he probably doesn't even make that block if it's a 1D, right? I'll tell you how many matches there are. 160 to 192 games, that's how many there are. That's a lot of games, isn't it? 
and they will always be they will all, every single one of them will be on YouTube there you go hello Yudi it does but I mean I think three block also sounds rough right like I just wouldn't take the three block build I just wouldn't take the three block build simple as that it's literally that simple I would not take the six block build <laughs> Ever. <laughs> but it's maybe not as bad as I thought it was. But I'd still never take it. What's particularly bad is, this turn it looks like he's just going to base this guy, right, to stop him moving. So he's going to literally move this guy back after he rolled a 2 plus to get him out. <laughs> and he's just going to have to move him back to, to keep him based. Probably. Now, I wouldn't be so sure on the Lizards winning, Dimmy. He's, he's, he's had three turns. He's deep in his own half. Now, there's no need to go for a ball sack, is it? 55%? Uh, not even 55%? Yeah, it's 55% in. Now, definitely no ball sack. Just base base the skinks, right? Just base the skinks here and you're pretty good. The skinks hate being based because it's a one in nine to fail, it's just too dangerous for them, isn't it? It's incredibly incredibly annoying that the base is just constant the skinks constantly based. Glorious. No, I won't give it's in very difficult until thing. I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, Sabotoad. <laughs> oh, did they... Oh, no, it wasn't the message. It was you You said it in chat. It wasn't the sub-message. I was like, oh, my God, have they censored the sub-message because it mentioned adverts? But uh, I guess it was because you did it as a message rather than the sub message. Um, thank you very much, Satterfield. I'm s I am so sorry, everybody, about the adverts. I can't reduce it because I don't have access to my account. But I will make a begging video soon, honestly. I've, I've got the idea of what to do for it now. So I will soon make a begging video to, to Twitch for them to uh, sort it out. So I don't like not bracing this this skink here, right? I mean, I know he doesn't really got the players, but he kind of does, right? This this lineman could have gone there, and then this blitzer could have come around. Like, I really want to base every skink that, just to make it uh, harder for them. That's the way to beat lizards, really, is base their skinks with block players. Because block players are good enough. You don't need tackle players. You just need blocks so you can smash them to bits. And if you make them roll one in nine dodges, they'll fail them, you know? Not like not like elves who never roll one in thirty six fails, but um, skinks definitely roll one in nine fails. It looks like he's going to escape here, doesn't it? Because this is a very easy clear, and he gets a full power as well. Two full powers. And again, see, look how much better it would have been if he'd had a player here. You know, if he had a blitzer here. All of a sudden, it's still a dodge with this guy, and it would be a do double dodge with this guy. Would have made a huge difference having having this lineman where the blitzer was, and the blitzer around here. Oh, he's not pushing real that. I thought he'd have gone way, way forward. I thought he'd have gone right up the field here. Very surprised that he hasn't gone right up the field. Like, it does give him an extra player to use. But um, I did think he would have gone well up. I guess this is safer for if one of these goes, like, you know, if one of these fails, either troll goes stupid or um, he one in mind's the block. Oh, removed. Oh, disaster. doesn't follow because I guess he's going to block him so they're both on him oh he does the dodge first fails but then as dodge gets the dodge away and now it looks very strong doesn't it 
great turn from Spartacus. Wenteros is in real trouble here, isn't he? Real trouble. Does he just try to reset and get people in front of the ball again? <laughs> yes, that's true, Jimmy, but again I, I, I think he could have I think he could have put players in the way a little bit better. But yeah, great, great turn from Spartacus. You're definitely overestimating Lizards and underestimating Spartacus here, didn't you? I, I, in my opinion, I think he's played great. A great game of Blood Bowl. The best so far. Oh, we're going to chain the Blodger in. No, we're not. You what? What's he doing? Oh my god! I mean, you pick, you pick this guy. This guy comes around to there, and then you chain him into there, don't you? Like, wasn't that the point of doing that? I'm bamboozled. I'm absolutely bamboozled by that assistant block. Wow. Wow, I really I, I was like, oh I like this. He's gonna But he'd already moved this guy as well, so he could he couldn't really get someone in there. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking there. Punches him. Keeps the tackle. It doesn't keep the tackle occupied. I definitely followed there, right, to keep the tackle occupied. Oh god, the timer bug. <laughs> yeah, that was I thought he was going for that for sure. That was really weird, like it was just to punch him, it was just to like punch him to try and get the others out, I guess. here to complete the cage. A full pow. And a Kaz. Oh my goodness. Wow. Croc's going in here is lovely now because then he can block him and not push him onto the cage. Oh, he didn't do that. Yeah, he just does the he just the skink dodge and <laughs> dub <Dope> skulls. <laughs> <laughs> Tackle, not a hindrance there. Hmm. 
man, this 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 assist up there. If you'd had another blitzer back through here. There's no real good chain, I don't think, there, unfortunately. I could have been missing it, but there was nothing I was seeing. Well, I think it was taking too many blocks, wasn't it? This guy blitzes him, pushes him to there. And then you've got to go to there as well, and then block him in, and then he's still got guard as well. Frenzy, this power. Dodging this for me. I think dodging was fine there. Still three turns, so it could still be in a bit of a pickle. Like this Saurus is out of it. Crocs is stranded. It's got a Saurus here, but this one's out of it. This one's out of it. So it's pretty tricky. Still pretty tricky for Spartacus. This maybe should have been a blitz, honestly. I guess he's just going to shuffle forward, isn't he? He's just going to shuffle forward. Yeah. Okay. This will, like, blitz down. And then these two will just go up. Is it but good enough? get to the front really can he? The Crocs is covering this side and the guard's covering that side. And back. So these these two are covered by the guard. This is covered by the Crocs being there. And this guy being here. So it's really hard to get in this side. And then this, the weak link is at the front but all he's got is this rookie. You could try and get all the way around with a witch but then the Crocs is stopping that bit isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, I can't even do it all the way around. So yeah, very good. Very, honestly, I think Sparta because he's been the best player of the World Cup so far that I've seen. <laughs> There's quite a few replays to do still. Missed about eight games yesterday. <laughs> so I haven't seen too many of the games. But I've been very impressed by Spartacus person.
This isn't easy at all, is it? Oh, <laughs> so I see something. Oh yeah, the time bank's a minute and 30 seconds. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I can tell you, he, he can't take any advantage from this, even if it is an advantage. He could dodge, rush, block, chain, um, and then like, I was thinking something. <laughs> then I was thinking something. I don't know what I was thinking. Then. Okay, he's just dodging all the way around for the 1D. It's a push. That was the problem there. The guard was in the right place. Does the 3 plus run out of time? Run out of time. He was going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I imagine. And runs out of time. Oof. Did just stand him up at least. I bet that took him by surprise, the running out of time. <laughs> no excuses. Sorry. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic cats. <laughs> I could hear you say that. Rike just got, I guess, block first, right? Block first and see what happens. He might not be able to recage here. It's not getting the power. This is looking like a score, isn't it? Luckily, he's been pushed into scoring range. So. But he's going to give the elves two turns. Unless he can fashion a cage. I mean, he can dodge. I mean, he can. He can. He can Venger buzz actually, right? He can blitz and go back and do it. But he's got to make a dodge. He's going to make a one in nine dodge. Or maybe not. Actually, maybe he could block and block and block. Surely he's going to score. Kind of have to like, do these blocks and stuff and see what happens. Oh, got to use his last reroll. Now he has to score. Tackle not doing anything, by the way. Roll the full power anyway. So that clears this, and so now he can block him. So he doesn't have to dodge. Surely he's just going to score now. The play was to blitz, right? The play was to blitz and then go here. And then do this block and this block. Oh my god, he's going back. Now he's got a double rush without re-rolls. No, he had to score. Didn't he? Oh. Oh, I think, I think... After playing great all game, this might have been a mistake. This is a block down here somewhere. Yeah. Wow. Wentros has to think fast. There's certainly a very easy way to get two dice on the ball. And it might be the thing that he does instantly. Let's find out if he does this literally instantly to get two dice on the ball. Oh my god, I mean, this is so... Well, it's really obvious, and I'm sure you'll see it, but I, I don't want to see it instantly. You, you can work it out yourself 
guys. There's an amazing do you shoot a play that is uh, incredible. That's the first thing you have to do. Stand this guy up to cancel both assists. No! Okay, so my play was Witch Elf blitzes this guy on two dice, pushes him to there, and then punches him on one dice, which is unfortunate. In fact, yeah, no, yeah. But then that pushes him here, right? And then which, you know, is out of scoring range, number one. Um, but then I'd push him back into scoring range by just smashing him on two dice with block straight afterwards. Wow, and now he's only got 30 seconds left. Yeah, he fucked it instantly by making this block. Like, I'll, I'll, it's a two into a one to just just get the two dice on the ball. I think he had to start with that. I think he just had to. Now he's dodging in for a 1D, which is works. <laughs> That works. That works. Right. Well. He's got one... One Dark Elf to clear. And one Dark Elf to clear. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. So it's a 3-2-2 at best. And he has to make other blocks to free, the, free it up as well. Which, to be fair, are very easy. But it might have to be blockless, right? When I say it's very easy, it's not actually very easy, because I thought this guy was free, but he's not. I thought he was, this was going to be a 3D. It's not actually not a 3D, is it? Doesn't get the knockdown either. So now there's a dodge. Or a crocs block, either way. Or a blitz. Or a handoff. Did the handoff. Rather. Th oh, and then he was going to blitz, right? So he's going to blitz. But then he could have blitzed with this guy anyway. So And blitz is just the same as a dodge anyway. That was just basically worse, right? Because so okay, it's not just worse because the if he fail the three the three plus handoff is thirty three percent fail, whereas the uh, rushes are a thirty percent fail. However, if the handoff fails, you're the balls in tackle zone tackle zones and stuff, which makes the chance of him scoring a second. It doesn't matter about the second. No, he had to do he had to do rushes. He had to do rushes. I was thinking it doesn't matter if he scores two, you're already one nil down. No, he had to do rushes. He had to, it was absolutely incorrect to do a hand off. Hand off is 33.3% chance to fail. And uh, the two rushes is like 30.5 or something, I think. So, well, that's funny, isn't it? That's funny. I sung his praises the whole game and. Uh, Thought he'd played the best out of anybody I'd seen, and then he ended up losing. So there you go. That is that is blood ball for you. Um, commiseration, Spartacus. Congratulations, Wenteros. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.